Hi y'all, it's Alice. So I'm coming to you just with a little chit chat. I wanted to just tell you all what I'll be doing for New Year's Eve, what me and my family will be doing. Um, I'm just super interested in knowing what you all be doing. Um, everybody has so many different traditions that they do and um, I went on YouTube and I didn't find any videos. I found like maybe one or two, one talking about like the color of underwear for New Year's Eve. Somebody else was, um, I don't remember, or they were talking about what other countries do, but I want to know, you know, like my crafting buddies, what did they do? What did the family do? Um, so I'm coming to you just to tell you a little bit about what we do. Um, as y'all know, um, I live very close to like the Mexican border. I live in the southern part of Texas. So a lot of our traditions kind of mix and blend into like the Mexican traditions as well. Plus we also are very, you know, um, just Tex-Mex, I guess, uh, so to speak, is what I call ourselves, our traditions. So one of the traditions that we do that I see that are very Mexican-like is we wear a certain color of underwear depending on what we are trying to achieve. So, and I'm looking over there because I wanted to show you the colors that I have, but I don't want to show you my underwear. <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you my colors. Um, so I have green underwear, which green, and they're more of an emerald green. It Green is um, to bring in more money in the house is what... Um, is what the color states. I have red and red is for romance. So, and it's funny because I usually end up wearing red and it's either red or pink if I'm not mistaken. Um, and pink also is for romance. And so, I mean, my husband, hubby and I are, are great. So I think I'll stick to the red to keep it a romance. Um, I also have yellow. I'm, I'm kind of in between. I'm like, I'm just going to wear all the underwear. I'm just going to put one on top of the other. The yellow is for joy, tranquility, happiness. I mean, it's just, um, it's, I guess the color represents, you know, that, that happiness, that beautifulness. So that's what that color represents. And then white. I didn't really, um, I can't remember what my mom told me about white, but I, think it's more of like um um like tranquil as well um I'm thinking it's more like a purity type like very um trying to cleanse oneself you know rid of the the bad evil or stuff like that I I can't remember on the white underwear but I know white is good so there's a green for money red for romance or pink and yellow for joy tranquility um happiness in your life so that's what we do that's what I think is very Mexican tradition now what we also do is we eat 12 grapes I just found out that the 12 grapes comes from Spain it's a Spaniard thing right I'm like what so yeah the those are things that that we do then the other thing is we get um suitcase and uh, my husband and I will usually go around in circles around the house and um, that is supposed to um, bring more travels into the year and um, last year what we did is we got the kids J John actually my husband carried Jason I was carrying the luggage and we were holding hands and the kids were holding our hand as well so we went around as a family so we can have more vacations which we did it's funny but we did have more vacations this year 2016 so we are planning on doing that again um traditional foods that we eat we eat um something called bunuelos and bunuelos is like a fried tortilla and what we do is we add sugar and cinnamon on top of that and um that's like a dessert and the <laughs> Jason's coming. Hi. <laughs> they can't see you. You need to come around the bed. Come jump Kay. over here. Come jump over here. Okay. Are you eating a donut? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We went to Krispy Kreme. It's yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how I gonna... Here, hold your donut. You want to give them donuts? Here's <laughs> a donut. Yum, yum, yum. Krispy Kreme. 
Let's be smooth. Here, okay. So we're talking about traditions, what we do like for New Year's Eve, Jace. Oh, and he's gone. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Go. It's okay. Um, <coughs> so, uh, let's see. Okay, I told you about the bunuelos, which is a dessert we eat. Fried, it's like a fried tortilla. Um, and we add sugar and cinnamon on top, and that's pretty much it. Um, uh, tamales. Tamales is like a... I'm pretty sure a lot of people know what tamales are, but it, it's um, it's like a corn husk. I don't know how to explain a tamale. <laughs> With like meat inside, It's a corn husk is wrapped. There's corn, masa. I don't know how to... I wouldn't know how to describe a tamale if you to ask me a tamale. And I do have some. I will show you a tamale. Hold on. Give me one second. Let me pause. Okay, let's see. This is a tamal. It's just a corn husk wrapped. And there's a little, like a little, um, like a little taquito in there. I guess that's, okay, so that's a tamal. And then, these are bunuelos. But I was talking about the dessert, the fried tortilla. Let's see if I can get this right. So I have... And there's the sugar. Whoa, cinnamon. Yeah, that's all that goodness right there. So, yeah. Okay, so now that you saw what a tamal is, what a bunuelo is, um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, that's pretty much it. Well, we end up, um, of course, we light up some fireworks. We do a a little fire for the kids before a couple of years before we used to um go to my aunts or my cousins and we'd all get together as a family um tell everybody happy new year around there but as a kid as I started having more kids right because I have three in total but you know it was easier with one child than two but then Jason came around and it just got a little crazy, you know, running around after the kids and stuff. Um, and my husband actually has been on call during the New Year's Eve holidays. So we just end up staying at home. There's really no point. Usually he gets called out, which is eh, it's pretty sad. But um, that's that's how it goes. So uh, we'll usually these past three years we've stayed in during new year's eve and we're just together like last year they didn't call him out but he was on call the year before they didn't call him out and he was on call but so we get to be together which is cool um but we just can't go out i guess because where we do hang out of course it's pretty far away it's like maybe 40 minutes away uh towards my family's house it'd be nice but no we can't and it's my cousin's house not like my mom or his parents and stuff um but yeah that's pretty much it guys so i just wanted to talk to you a little bit and just share what i do um i'd like to see more videos like this i want to know what people are doing what they're planning for new year's eve i mean aside from seeing tv because we end up watching tv as well i remember back when um the mexican channel was on like the third is it number channel three number three <laughs> channel three somewhere there and now i think we watch channel five it's just different traditions start changing it's weird um that's what i was telling my husband because uh, one of my children don't eat tamales and it's like that was like major for us like tamales weren't easily or readily available now they are because we have like an actual two actual restaurants who sell tamales so that's pretty cool like they're really you know easily to get anytime uh, but before it's like it had to be like either Christmas or New Year's Eve and you finally get some tamales because they're the the process is a long process to cook and so yeah um what else just yeah just talking to my husband telling him about the traditions how everything's kind of changing I'd love to keep some traditions the same, but I mean, we got to change, right? Evolve a little. Hmm. I guess that's it. So I will leave you with that. I want to tell you all happy new year's. Um, I hope you guys have a safe one. 
we'll come back i'll come back with more crafting videos obviously and uh, maybe more face to face i know i always promise y'all face to face but it's hard with the kids um you saw jason comes in the videos i hope y'all don't mind um so yeah okay i'll leave you with that bye guys